Okay, I'm quickly going to show you how to composite in After Effects. You need to go into Houdini and re-render. Uh, I use DXRs for the Fusion version. So you just need to click Different File. Put in the file name here using, uh, call it stream dot dollar sign F3. That means you're going to use three padding. And just save it as a TIFF. It'll be a 32-bit TIFF. So go ahead and change that on all three passes and re-render. Then we're going to go over to After Effects. We're going to go File, Project Settings. And we're going to say 32-bit working space is going to be sRGB, linearized working space. Now everything we do is going to be in linear. So we're going to import our footage. Start with the plasma. Actually, let's start with the stream. Click the first one, import as a TIFF sequence. Right-click, interpret footage, main. Set it to 24 frames per second. Go ahead and drag that in. Make a new composition. Now we're going to make a new solid. And we're going to make a black solid. We're going to put that on the bottom. Now we're going to make a new solid. And this is going to be the stream. And we're going to set it to be some sort of yellow color. Click OK. Put the stream below the file we imported and set the stream to track mat luma mat. Now you've got a yellow stream. Select all three of these uh, layers, go to pre-compose, move all the attributes into the new composition, and you can rename this stream. Create a new solid. Call this stream glow. Make it black. Set it to add mode. Right click, add an authority effects glow. Set the source to be the stream. Set the threshold to zero. Turn up the intensity. Click on the glow tint. Turn it red. Now go back into the stream pre-composite. Add an adjustment layer. Right click on that, add an effect. And we just want to turn up the gain on this thing. So. Some of the color correction tools in After Effects don't work in 32-bit, which is really disappointing. Uh, one of the ones that does is Exposure. So click Exposure, turn it up, maybe 1.5 or 2, and now if you hover over here, you'll notice that the values up in the top right are above 1. So if we go back to our composite, now you see the stream is much hotter, it's more intense, it's got some whites, it's yellow, the reds show up better. It's looking good. So I'm going to go ahead and do this exact same process for the plasma, and the bursts, and I'll pause it and I'll come back when I'm done. Okay, so I went ahead and did the same thing on the bursts and the plasma. So, same thing, I've got a black solid, then here is the solid that gives us the color, and then the mat that we rendered out of Houdini, we're using as a track mat, and then an adjustment layer with the exposure, just to turn up the brightness. So I did the same thing for the bursts. And once you put all those back in the main composite, you need to set every single layer to add mode, because light is additive. And then for the bursts, I set the glow tint to uh, a lesser saturated red. And for the plasma, I set it to white. And I just tweak the colors. And then for one final touch, you could add a new adjustment layer. Set that to add mode. Right click, effect, authority effects, lens glow. And you could turn down the softness. You can tweak the threshold here, turn that down to zero. And we can adjust the size. Turn down the intensity. And maybe just soften it up a little bit. There you have it. Thanks very much.